Today we're installing an MJFX armor bumper designed for the Club Car DS. Included in the kit is the main bracket, the bumper itself, the frame bracket, and the mounting hardware. To do this, we're going to use a 17mm socket, a 17mm wrench, and a cordless drill. Now let's get started. To begin our armor bumper installation, we're going to take off the factory bumper by removing the two factory screws in the front. Now that we have our factory bumper removed, we're going to loosen and retain the two bolts on the top of the frame. Now that we have all of our factory hardware removed, I'm going to tell you about the main bracket. You'll notice the four winch mounting locations on top of the bracket. You'll also notice two mounting locations here at the back side of the bracket. This goes where we removed our last bolts from that we retained. You'll also notice three mounting holes on each side of the mounting bracket. This is where the armor bumper will slide on the outside and you will mount with the hardware supplied. You'll also notice four mounting holes on the back side of the bracket which we'll use in the next step. Now we're going to insert our frame bracket. You'll notice the ledge on the bottom short side will point towards the back of the cart and this is going to sit on the back side of where we removed your factory bumper. Now that we have our frame bracket in place, we're going to attach our main bracket. Main bracket slides under the front cowl. We're going to use our retained factory bolts here. Then we're going to take four of your supplied bolts in your hardware kit and attach the frame bracket to the main bracket in those locations. Now we're going to attach the bumper to the mounting brackets. You want to attach the bumper on the outside of the mounting tabs here and here using the remaining hardware. Remember that all hardware needs to be put in place before you tighten. You're now finished installing your MJFX armor bumper designed for a club car DS.